Hey you what's up friend this is Arun and welcome to my channel forums creation in the previous tutorial we have learned about the techniques for non destructive editing so i have a image i will teach you one by one all these methods to work non destructively so it is very important to work non destructively for your manipulation work suppose uh, you are your customer asking again and again to change something in it so if you are not doing your work non destructively then it will be very very tough to you to make images every time so i have a image uh, this is my image uh, i will pick one by one from these topics so first one is that working with the adjustment layers i will go to this image and uh, it is talking about these things these adjustment layers suppose this is my image and i am working with this image If I go to the image adjustment, uh, suppose I want to uh, set the light in there. In it, suppose I I want to choose level. So I want to work with the level. Uh, I want to control it. Okay. Something like this. I want. Okay. If if I press OK, then it is. It has been fixed on this image. So this is the wrong way to do it. So press Control Z. and uh, this is my original image and i will do the same thing from the adjustment layer uh, go to level now it will provide you the layer as well and you can work on this uh, blending modes even opacity and fill now you can change it you can do your work suppose i want to do something like that okay many of adjustment layer you can apply on a single image suppose i want to call i want to work on the tone as well uh, this is my color balance and uh, suppose i want this tone and moreover i want to work on the curves i want to give it more shade something like that suppose this is the thing i want from this picture now all work has been done through the non destructive way so first part is i am talking about working with the known working with adjustment layer so this is the workflow with the adjustment layer so these are called the adjustment layers you have to work with these adjustment layers while doing anything like coloring or anything etc so the second point is transforming with smart object it is very very important suppose uh, i will make two copies of the same if you right click on there in this empty area then you will get a convert to the smart object it is very important if you press it then you will get a box under it this is a smart layer this is without smart layer so what i will do i will make a background so this is my background so i will select both layers so both this is the layer i want only single layer now i will transform it okay now leave it side and this is the layer this is without the smart object now again transform it control t on the keyboard now i have transformed both layers suppose uh, in your manipulation or your working style you want to make it to the original size so what you will do uh again control t on this smart object now you can see the image is maintained the quality is maintained in the smart object so if i unmark this go to this layer this is without smart object if i maintain the original size of this image now you can see i have lost the quality of this picture without smart object so this is the real power of smart object so second point was transforming with smart object so this is the example of 
transforming with the smart object it is very important to work non destructively with the smart object so this is very important okay now i will delete all these layers now my third point is filtering with the smart filters okay this is again very important i will make a new copy by pressing control j uh, right click on there then you will get it convert to smart object even select this layer go to filter and convert to smart filter the third point was filtering with the smart filters okay now this is my layer and uh, go to filter i want to convert four smart filters both things are same if you right click on there then go to the smart layer okay now this is the smart object and this is without smart object what i will do i will apply some filters on both layers uh this is my smart object go to filter suppose i want to make it blur uh not make it blur i want to apply sharpness suppose this is my uh unsharp mask i want to make it more sharp now it, the image has been sharped you can see you can see a, a layer under it it means it is a smart object you can change it any time suppose uh in the end of your manipulation you feel the sharpness is more in this image uh, you want to reduce it so simply double click on there then you will get again the unsharp mask palette there you can reduce the sharpness value from here directly suppose i'm doing the same work with this layer this is without the smart object go to filter sharpen then unsharp mask you apply this click on okay even you can not change it any time suppose you are working with thousand of layers uh thousand of layers then it is not possible without the smart object so it is very mandatory to work with the smart filters control z okay now this is my again smart object if you want to put more 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 effect on it go to filter suppose i want to do uh, something like this uh okay cross processing i want okay this is the i want okay now you have uh, how many filter you have applied you will get a number on on here the second one is the color effects the first one is the unsharp mask you can change it any time any time uh suppose this time i want uh, alien skin okay this is the alien skin apply you have applied three filters you can change it any time even you can close from here if you don't want any uh, uh, effect of this alien skin you can close it okay if you want any uh if you don't want any effect from this color effects then you can close it you can inactivate so working with a smart layer or working with a smart filter is very 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 useful if you are doing manipulation with a thousand of layers and uh, next one is the and uh, next one is the adjusting variation shadows highlights with the smart object it is also very important uh, make a new layer control j right click on there go to convert to smart object then you will get a smart object icon here uh, it is talking about this thing image adjustment then some of the filter uh, some of the things you will not uh, get in the adjustment layer the one is shadows and highlights then this thing you will not get from the adjustment layer okay now select it go to image adjustment layer then shadows and highlights you can work on shadows and highlights separately from here even if 
you want to recover the details of the sky you can recover it okay this is fine now this setting is also did as smart filters now you can change it anytime double click on there then you can change the value of this so in this way you can change it anytime so it is very very important no uh, to work non destructively now let it and the next point is retouching on a separate layer it is very also it is also important suppose uh, i want to remove this patch from this tree suppose uh, what i will do i will apply a stamp tool or you can say spot healing brush tool whatever you want to do uh, make a new layer make a new layer and uh, go to this stamp tool and uh, take a selection press alt on the keyboard and take a selection and apply it here take a selection and apply it here take a selection and apply it here and uh, it was talking about the it was talking about uh, retouching on a separate layer i have retouch image retouch this image on a separate layer what i have did make a new layer and apply all these things on the new layer i have not fix any value to this image so this is before and this is after even even you can apply this spot healing suppose uh there is no spot okay suppose i want to remove it now apply it now it has been removed i am working on a separate layer i have not fix any value on this layer so this is before and this is after and same thing here so it is very important to work non destructively friends you can see the power of the non destructive way now the next part is editing the camera raw now this is the very very nice feature in the only in the photoshop cc version the uh, the camera raw as a uh, available as a filter in the photoshop cc it was not available as a filter in the cs6 cs5 okay uh, go to this layer mm. make a new copy by pressing control j right click on there go to smart filter select it suppose i want to work on the exposure of this image filter then camera raw so it is very powerful tool if you work with a smart layer as well as with the camera raw so this is the my favorite way of editing you can see i can recover the details in the sky you can see what i can do i can do everything now click on okay now this is before and this is after now you can see the power of smart filters i can change any value in this image what i have applied in the camera raw i can change it double click on there then you will get the camera raw again suppose i want to work with the temperature i can work the work with the temperature suppose i want to reduce the vignetting again i can reduce it or even you can mm, i want to make it more sharp now i can make it more sharp so this is the powerful tool smart filter okay now next next thing is mm, opening camera raw files as a smart object so it is talking about the same thing what i have did in the six part and uh, the next thing is cropping non destructively suppose i have make a new layer right click on there i have converted to a smart object suppose i want to crop it the whole canvas suppose this is my canvas i want to crop to this level what it has been did uh suppose this is your smart object it is smart object it can be recovered at any time suppose this is my move tool you can see 
the whole picture is maintained the whole picture is maintained but in this case it has been cropped i cannot maintain it it has been cropped you can see the power of smart object with the non destructive way now my whole picture is maintained if suppose i want to crop it to this level what i'm talking you will get idea again N now this layer it has been uh, it is a smart object the whole picture is maintained you can see but in this case it is not maintained it is cropped so again this is a very powerful tool if you are working with the cropping tool okay now the last thing is masking it is it is it is very very important to work with the layers as well as with the masking suppose this is the image so this is my image and i will make a new copy right click on there go to smart object i will apply the last filter that i have applied is um, i want to control the highlights most shadows okay this is fine i want to work with the color painting i want something now click on okay suppose uh, i i want to recover something from it i can make mask make a mask select this layer and click on this button then you will get a mask button i can recover it any time and uh, apply a brush so my last point was masking and uh, i am working on this mask what you can see you can see i have applied a mask and i can recover my original image whatever i want to recover suppose i want to recover the this sky part i want sky from my original image now you can see that now this is without mask this is the with mask so you can see the whole process i have convert this layer into smart layer smart filter and apply a camera raw filter to it and making mask my whole image is my whole work is non destructive so you can see the power of these tools in your manipulation work so it is my request to you to work with the no destructive way and follow all these techniques as i have shown you in my working style so it is mandatory to work no destructively so i hope you got the idea what is the real secret of no destructive so thank you friends keep watching arun's creation